Hey everyone, Tracy here from NoFaceLeftBlank.wordpress.com and look what I found in the mail today. It is loop crate time and uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit curious about this loop crate because first of all it is a lot physically smaller than my previous loop crates have been and there's a message on the front of the box it says attention looters this crate is designed differently than any other crate before it. Please read the first page of the magazine to see how. So that's a little bit interesting. Uh, I won't go through with the whole spiel, but if you're interested in a little crate, there will be some information in the description below. Long story short, it is a subscription box service for gamers and geeks full of fun stuff. So well, let's crack her open and see what's inside, huh? For once, I'm getting to this ahead of my husband, so it's not already open. <laughs> Okay, so just to show you guys, just lifting the front flap, I see Dr. Light from Mega Man, and with the Konami code on the top of it there. So let's keep opening. So, this month's theme was battle, I think. And um, it said that there was going to be uh, Mega Man, uh, Street Fighter, a couple other things. I can't remember. There, there was a list of four or five different things. So right off the bat, I see the Mega Man item, which uh, will be for my husband. Mega Man is one of his favorite games of all time. He still plays the old, old, old Super Mega Hard original versions of the game. And he doesn't really have any Mega Man collectibles because have you ever searched for Mega Man collectibles? They are outrageously priced. I mean outrageously. Like geek stuff is expensive to begin with. Mega Man stuff? Outrageous. So this will be something for him. And I'm happy to see Okay, it, it's a mini helmet replica you can see the box there. And on the back you could get uh, four different versions. So there's the original Mega Man Blue, and there's a gray, green, and red for Bubble Leaf and Red Rush. So I got the blue one, which I think if my husband were given the choice, that's what he'd want. So this is pretty cute. There's a little stand here for us. Go together. Go together. You'd never know that I'm a technician. <laughs> arr, arr. I win. So there it is. It's a little Mega Man helmet on a stand. Kind of cute. That will go with our video game stuff, which we are trying to set up downstairs in the basement uh, for the past five or so years because we can't keep it clean. But that's my first item in the Battle Loot Crate. The next thing, I'm going to get this t-shirt out of the way. I have no idea what it is. So, here's the t-shirt, in my size, so whatever it is I guess I'm wearing it, and who is that? Hmm, what does it say here? Spy mates, ninja, quiet, die, fighter, surly, rogue, outlaw. I'm not 100% sure who that's supposed to be, so in a moment I will check the, uh, the magazine and see what's up with that. I feel like I should know who that is, but I'm not sure, so I'll set it aside for now. Next thing we've got is a Loot Crate exclusive from Capcom, and it's kind of funny. So it's Street Fighter. And what I believe it is, is a headband. 
Yes. That is definitely a headband. So, we'll like Ryu. There you go. Ninja headband. <laughs> How do I look? Awesome. Yes, I'm going to leave it on because I'm silly. Get this out of the way. This is the uh, Loot Crate collectible button, if you can see that. It is uh, November 2014 Battle, Mega Man versus Ryu Ayusa. I'm going to find something to do with those buttons. And we have a little pouch here with Assassin's Creed Unity on it. And what is inside is kind of a coin, collectible coin. I haven't played Unity. Is it even out yet? It just came out recently. I'm going to take this off because it's falling off. <laughs> so it says uh, Liberté, Egalité, Unité. Assassin's Creed Unity. So Liberty, Equality, Unity. I believe is what that means. And it's got the assassin symbol on the back. So it's a little collectible coin. Kind of neat. We have a couple of Assassin's Creed collectibles, so that'll go with that. Next we have a toy that will probably go with uh, some stuff that my daughter got in her Nerd Block Juniors. It is a Megablox Halo. So it's, it looks like, uh, God, it's been a long time since i played any Halo, guys. But I think this is like a, an alien pod. And um, Metallic Series figure. I assume there's a Mega Block figure of some kind in there. I won't open that right now. Then we have some different uh, paperwork here. So first of all is Lictum, Lictum Battle Mage, 50% off, um, I guess 50% off the game itself. Yep, enter coupon into Steam Client, so 50% off to buy Lictum Battle Mage on Steam. Then there is, let's go with this first. So, we have two sides here. I'm going to try not to accidentally show anything off. <laughs> so first we have Digital Comic Loot. It is issue 1 and 24, completely random, of uh, Mega Man comic. Uh, so issue 1 and uh, issue 22 is a Sonic the Hedgehog crossover comic. So that's kind of funny. So there's a code on there to download that. And on the other side, there is a download code to activate your copy of Super Street Fighter uh, 4 Arcade Edition with Steam. So two Steam games in there. Super Street Fighter 4 and Lictum Battle Mage. Then there is... Which side are you? Pirate or Ninja? So it says in the back, Pirates vs. Ninjas. The ancient debate of Pirate vs. Ninjas stretches back through the ages to 2001, through the ages, where the battle was first questioned at realultimatepower.net. Although pirates have appeared with ninjas in the murky tributaries of time and entertainment, any origin before 2001 is hotly contested. While many people claim this or that about who should win such a battle, this much is clear. You're right, and everyone else is wrong. Team Loot Crate. So it says, which side are you? Use uh, hashtag Loot Pirate or hashtag Loot Ninja in your photos and post it on this month's crate. So, this makes more sense now. If you look at it closely, it is a Pirates vs. Ninjas shirt. So, Pirate over here, Ninja over here. So, I feel better now that I didn't recognize this because it isn't actually a, a set character. <laughs> so it makes a lot more sense. And of course there is the magazine that comes with every uh, 
ever look great. Can you hear her? She's coming. What? You can turn them on. It's too dark? Yeah. Okay, one second. Okay. <laughs> I had to turn the Christmas candles on for my daughter. It's important. So, the magazine that comes with every edition, and I believe I see what's so interesting as it states on the box. There are some punch out characters in the back. It's a bunch of Mega Men and uh, Ryus, and I suppose the idea is that you use the box as the playground, the uh, fighting stage, and you use the little characters to make a fight scene. So, if you're into that kind of thing, personally I won't be keeping the box because if I kept the boxes, my entire house would be full of them. But that's kind of funny. <laughs> funny and cute. What else is in here? Anything interesting? That'll create instructions. There's... Oh, there's other pieces to this too, apparently. Inside there's... Uh, little stage platforms and the like. So there's instructions inside on how to put it all together. And I'll just take a flip through, see if there's anything of interest. The... Okay. So again, the Pirate vs. Ninja's shirt, that I don't feel so bad about anymore. The Assassin's Creed Unity coin. Uh, it says, only initiates of the Brotherhood and Templars will recognize this coin, which is adorned on one side with the seal of the Assassins. On the opposite side, there is space for looters to engrave their names below the logo and truly make it one of a kind. So, I doubt that I'll be bringing this in to engrave it, but yes, there is a blank spot beneath the logo there where you could put your name if you wanted and make yourself a member of the Brotherhood. The, uh, the Halo Mega Box says gear up for battle with the UNSC or amass an army of Covenant forces with these Halo minifigures. Each fighter comes in his own dropship grenade plus a sidearm. So it's a dropship. I was half right. It's not an alien thing. It's it's the dropship. And there's a little Halo figure in there which I'll probably just let my daughter have. And of course the Street Fighter headband which is a Loot Crate exclusive. It is Ryu's headband, la 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 la, etc etc. So that pretty much covers it. Uh, not bad. I feel like the value is a bit down uh, simply because a lot of the value is put into these uh, game downloads, and I personally won't use them. Uh, my husband might, in which case the value goes up. But for me personally, I won't really use those. So, um, But the shirt is actually pretty cool. I will wear that. The uh, Assassin's Creed coin not a huge value, but it's cute, and it will go with the uh, the rest of our Assassin's Creed stuff. The Mega Man helmet. I'm sure my husband will get a kick out of that. It's, it's not a huge value to the box, but still cute. And the halo and the button. This amuses me. So, all in all, it was an okay box. Um, I personally don't feel like the value is really there, 
but I got a t-shirt out of it and my husband got a Mega Man figure so it's not too bad. Uh, all in all, not too bad. What? I know. I'm coming. Maybe I can use this for a blindfold for a future unboxing. What do you guys think? I know some guys do it blindfolded. Maybe I'll give it a try. Anyway, again, if you are interested, there will be some information on loot box in the uh, loot box. Loot crate. There will be some information on loot crate in the description below. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Please check out my blog at nopageleftblank.wordpress.com And if you are a zombie lover, check out the link below to my book on Amazon and Kindle. It is a zombie apocalypse novel. Um, and yeah, come back for more videos. Bye.